Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another week here at FE Made Easy. Today, we are going to go over a problem that I found in the FE test book. And I think it's going to be interesting because it's possible that some of you went over this problem and you didn't know why you don't get the right answer or any of the answers they have available there. So let's go ahead and talk about it. The problem says the moment of inertia in inches power four of the area about X prime is most nearly. So we have a trapezoid and we're given a few dimensions here. And uh, also we are given the X prime axis, which is here and some dimensions of a trapezoid, three inches, six inches over here. And then the answers are given in the book, just like you see them on this page. So before we go any farther, I'm gonna go into the FE handbook and we're gonna scroll down to the formulas for the moment of inertia. And I believe those are under statics. Let's go to dynamics, go up. Under statics here at the end, you have lots of different shapes that are available with formulas for you to use on the exam. And I'm going to go to the trapezoid. And here's the trapezoid. You have the area and centroid. So the area of a trapezoid is given here. And then centroid, YC, is the formula over here. And this YC is the distance from the base to the centroid, right? This is the Y distance. If it was XC, that would have been the distance from the Y axis to the centroid. So we're gonna use these formulas today in our problem, as well as I'm going to also discuss the area moment of inertia formulas. We have IXC, which is the moment of inertia of this trapezoid about the axis that go through its centroid. So every time, this is the difference from this moment of inertia and then this guy. This moment of inertia is the moment of inertia about the axis that go through its centroid. And then here is the moment of inertia about this X axis over here, okay? That being said, I think we are ready to go back and start working on this problem. I'm going to start with calculating the area of this trapezoid. And based on the FE handbook, you don't have to memorize it. The area was A plus B divided by 2 multiplied by H. And A is this value over here. B is this value over here, and then age is the height. And we're going to substitute A is equal to 3 plus B is 6 divided by 2 multiplied by 6. And this is going to give you an area of, let's see, plus 2 divided 6 multiplied. You have an area of 27 inches squared. Great. And next thing that we're going to need, it's going to be this distance over here. We're going to need the distance over here. But in order to calculate this distance over here, I'm going to put question mark. We're going to have to calculate this one. And this one is, as I was talking earlier, is the YC. It's the formula that they give you in the FE handbook. So let's see, YC, I'm gonna point this out over here. This is YC. Great. So YC is age multiplied by two A plus B. H multiplied by 2A plus B divided by 3A plus B. 3 multiplied by A plus B. 
Now we're going to substitute age is equal to 6 multiplied by 2 multiplied by A, which is 3, plus B, which is 6, divided by 3 multiplied by A, which is 3, plus B, which is 6. Great. And if you do this calculation, I'm going to do it quickly on my calculator. So we have 6 plus 6, 12. 6 multiplied. And then we have 9. 3 multiplied, divided. So I get a value of 2.67 inches. If YC is 2.67, that means that this value over here, which I'm going to call, let's say I'm going to call it Y. So Y is going to be equal to the total distance from the X axis to the X prime axis, which is 4.5 inches minus YC, which is 2.67 inches. And this is going to be, so 4.5, 183 inches, 1.83 inches. There you go. So now, in order for us to calculate the area moment of inertia for this trapezoid about x prime axis, let's go ahead and remember what is that equal to. So i x prime is going to be equal to the y x the i x c. So it's equal to the moment of inertia about the axis that goes through its centroid, right? Plus area of trapezoid multiplied by dy squared. And this distance dy squared is specifically the distance from the centroid of the trapezoid to the new axis that we want to calculate the moment of inertia about. So we need to calculate the moment of inertia about x prime axis. So our distance is the y that we have calculated it. Wonderful. So since we have the area calculated already up here and the distance y, so y is 183 inches and this is equal to dy. Okay, I'm going to calculate the moment of inertia about its centroid. And the formula is given in the FE handbook. This is it. And I'm going to write it in my problem. I'm going to have 8 power 3 multiplied by a squared plus 4 a, B plus B squared okay, divided by 36A plus B. Great. And I'm going to substitute H equals to 6 power 3. A is 3 or 2 plus 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 6 6 power 2 and here 36 3 plus 6 and this is going to be equal I'm going to use my calculator quickly so we have 3 power 2 that's 9 and then we have 4 3 multiplied, six multiplied, plus, and then we have six power two, which is 36 plus, and then we have six power three, and I get a value for this moment of inertia about its centroid axis of 78 inches power four. Perfect. 
Now we're going to come back to this initial formula. And we're going to continue and substitute in this formula. So I'll have 78 plus the area is 27 multiplied by dy, which is 1.83 power 2 equals. And let's go ahead and calculate that. So we're going to have 1.83 squared, 27 multiplied, 78 plus. And I get a value of 168.4. And these are inches power 4. And this is the value for the moment of inertia or the area moment of inertia about the x prime axis for this problem. And if you've done this problem following the test book and you looked at the answers, you're noticing how none of them matches your result. And I believe in the book, they are stating that this is the right answer. But based on what we know and how to solve this problem, it just doesn't make sense. So it's possible that they made a mistake. Maybe there's another version of the test book with the corrected answer. I'm really curious to know if there is. If you have that, please leave a comment in the section below. If you have calculated this problem and you have gotten the same answer as I did, also please leave me a comment in the section below. I would be grateful to know what is the answer that you have come up with. And that's all I had for you today. I just wanted to bring this up because especially when you are at the beginning of trying to go back and bring back the information from college, it's very hard and confusing finding a problem like this and following your judgment and what you know doesn't match what you find in the book. So I wanted to bring this to the surface that sometimes it's possible that they made a mistake. So trust your judgment, trust your knowledge. And the answer for this problem is 168.4 inches or four. Another thing I wanted to add, especially for those who have been out of school for a long time, I know it's frustrating to go over the material from college. It's been such a long time, but I can assure you that it's possible for you to study on your own and pass the exam. The best advice that I can give you is try to solve as many examples as you can. So keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week. Bye.